Well, hey, let's change out this 2022 Tesla Model Y interior camera. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in service mode. So let me show you how to do that. All right, so to get it into service mode, we're gonna press on the car. Then we're gonna go down to software. We're gonna hold on the Model Y. And then we're gonna type in service. Enter, now we're in service mode. So that from this point now, we're gonna work on changing out that camera. So this is what we're looking at here, this camera right here. So let's get that baby changed out. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is remove this cover. So you don't wanna mar up this plastic any. So I'm just gonna use a plastic pry tool and just kind of pull it down. There we go. That was really tight. All right, so this is what we're looking at. These are the clips that you have. So right here, 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 and here, a total of four. And then down here is just a guide, so it slides right in. So basically all you do is you pull this straight down. And what I did, I just use this pry, to pry tool to get in there and push it down. All right, so now we got that off. So now the next thing we gotta do is disconnect this, this plug in the back. So let me show you that one. There's the plug. So this is the little tab we need to press on right in here. So once we press that down, now that plug will come straight out. Again, you're pressing down on this area right here with your thumbnail and then pulling it out. So the next thing we gotta do is remove this Torx right here. All right guys, so this one's gonna be a T20 Torx. So you're gonna take your T20 Torx, put it in there. Oh gosh, that was already loose. We're gonna undo this screw. and the mirror comes out. It was just stuck to this double stick foam right over here. All right, so from this point now, this is the piece of plastic that we just gotta get off. So the camera is obviously right here. And so this is the piece that we need to get off. And so what we're gonna do is we can just kind of try to wiggle it back and forth, see if it's loose, which it is not. So that's okay. So now we're gonna get that plastic pry tool again. All right, so now we're gonna release these plastic clips up in here. There's one, and all I'm doing is I put it at the bottom, and I'm just sliding it up. There's two, so there's both of them on this side. Same thing on this side, put it in, slide it down, and there it's loose. So now there's a little lip that goes up into this uh, ceiling overhead. So we're just gonna pull it down, get it out of the way. And then I'm gonna kind of rotate it. This is, the, this is the more difficult part to get it out of this headliner. But you just kind of pull it down and get it out around it. Try not to pull too hard on it because it's still got the camera attached. Okay, so now that's all loose. As you can see, this is that lip. And so inside of here, oops, trying to shift it in gear, is one of the Fokker cables that they use. We're pushing on this tab again. So we'll push on that tab and I'm gonna pull the whole assembly down. There we go, just like that. That one disconnects that one. And then the other one is this right here. All right, so that's that. This is what we got so far. So this is the camera, this is the hookup. And so he's gonna replace it with a, a different style of camera, a G camera. So unfortunately this guy's camera just did not work. So he had done all the research and said, hey, this should work, yada, yada. And so I said, I'll give it a shot. And as soon as I started putting this together, I'm like, yeah, this isn't gonna work because the plugs were different, the screw holes were different. So I had to order a new camera and we did it uh, two days later. All right, we are back two days later. We're gonna put the correct 
new camera in that bad ride. Oh, hey, we're back. We're going to continue <laughs> off where we left the last time. So we're going to change out this camera to the correct new camera. Let's do it. Camera LED fault service. All right, so this, as you can see here, APPW395, cabin, cab, cabin camera LED fault service. All right, now we got the camera out. So now it's time to take it over to the workbench to swap it out to the new one. Here's the new camera, here's the old camera. So this is obviously pretty easy. You're literally gonna open up the package, put a new camera in it, and you're gonna take it, just push it down, and then slide it out. So if you take a look at these, visually, there's not much of a difference other than this one here has a little bit of cloudy in the lens. There you can kind of see it. See that one, you can kind of see the difference in the two. So this one is an SO and this is just a double O. All right, so here all you're doing is making sure the camera goes in its catch and then all the wiring goes into their catch. All right, let's go put this new baby in. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is hook the wiring back up to it. Okay, we are back in here. We're gonna be buttoning it back up. Some things we need to do, we need to reconnect the camera. So we're gonna reconnect the blue cable first in the actual camera. All right, I heard the clip there. And then we're gonna connect the wire to the camera. All right, make sure that wire is hanging out there. And so now the next thing we gotta do is kind of tuck the, this plastic back up in the headliner here. So pull down just a little bit that out. There we are. Get that tucked in. You can hear it clip into place. Push the headliner back up. Make sure you got clean hands. Don't want to get your dirt on there. All right. So the next thing is put the mirror back on with the torques. So we'll connect the wire harness to the back of it. Get that in nice and clipped. Tighten that up to 1.8 foot pounds. And then we slide the cover on. There we are. So that's it. All good. Well, kind of good. It doesn't work. No way. No. Nope. All right, so now we did a software reinstall. So we're just gonna wait for the car to go through its boot up procedure. I just heard the high voltage loop disconnect. So there you have it. To replace the camera, interior camera, from a 1588124-00-i or one, to replace it to a 1588124-so-i, all you need is a T20 Torx and a little plastic pry bar. Don't even really need that, but it helps out to release the clips and to release the pull down. After that, you do the software redeploy and that's pretty much it. Now you've changed out your camera now, go ahead and take a load off. Open yourself a nice cold brewski. Take care.